Hey everyone, Dr. B here. Quick landscape tutorial. We're going to show you how to fix this weed bed up into something a little bit more eye appealing, which is this uh, red lava rock bed. I'll be using six bags of red lava rock, which costs about $7 per cubic foot. Uh, some landscape edging, which is about $37 for a 100 foot roll. And uh, also some uh, Scott's Pro Fabric Weed Barrier, which is uh, $21 for a 3 by 100 foot roll. I'll be using a Salzaw, some garden gloves, hammer, tin snips, and of course a drink, because you guys would probably be working up a sweat. So uh, today we'll be just uh, kind of cleaning up here. Uh, everybody's situation is going to be different, but here I had some rocks previously that I tried to use to keep the weeds down, but just did not work. Now this video right here that you're watching is about a 15 minute time lapse of me removing all the rocks. And as you can see, there was a lot of rocks in there. So uh, that definitely took a little bit out of me. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and continue working here. We got uh, rake taking out all the uh, weeds that we have and also be removing some by hand because there's a lot of roots in there. Uh, so this is uh, me trying to remove a uh, previous uh, stump that I had with the sawzall. But see, I w my original plan was to just go ahead and uh, level it to the ground, but the sawzall wasn't getting through it. Um, so what I'm doing here is actually digging a hole around it, and I'm finding the lateral roots, which are should be about four of them usually, depending on the stump. But this one had four. Uh, one goes in each direction, and basically those lateral roots will act as an anchor point for your uh, stump. So as you can see, I'm using the sawzall there, which is one of my favorite garden tools, to be honest with you. I've taken out probably 30 of these stumps like this using just that tool and a shovel. Um, big root there, uh, you see is the tap root. It's about a 50 or 60 pound stump there. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in the hole with dirt and we'll uh, get to laying down the fabric. So now that we have the uh, hold all filled in, we'll be uh, just kind of going through, removing any more weeds or rocks that we may find and kind of just uh, raking up, cleaning up, getting everything level, patting them down. So now uh, that we have all that all done, we'll go ahead and start laying our fabric. It's a pretty windy day, so I'll be just throwing a couple of bags on here to uh, keep, keep my fabric from blowing away. You can use scissors here, but you know, tin snips just work just as well. Um, figured, uh, you know, I'll keep uh, my tools to a minimum since I'll be using these uh, tin snips later to, uh, to cut the edging. So here I'm just spreading out the rocks to keep the uh, keep the fabric from blowing away again. Uh, that's only three of the six bags I'll be using, but we'll uh, lay the rest of it later. So for now, we're going to be getting the edging all squared away. And this probably isn't the best edging to use. Uh, this is more really for kind of cutting a lot of corners. It's a little bit wavy, so it's kind of hard to keep it straight. So there is actually edging out there that are made for straight, straight cuts like that. So we're just matching up our angles. And I didn't need a hammer for this because I had some pretty soft soil, but uh, to get those stakes down, a hammer might not be a bad idea for if you know, if you have some harder soil to work with. And I probably could have uh, put the fabric underneath these, uh, the holes that, you know, the, the edging. So I might uh, regret that a little bit later. I might have some weeds popping up through those uh, sides there. So if you're going to do this yourself, you might want to actually kind of overlap that a little bit. And there we have it. After about an hour and 20 minutes, we have ourselves a nice little bed, a lot better than what we started with. So hopefully this video helped you guys out and doing it yourself, you can save a lot of money. For my landscapers, it's uh, not that hard of a job. So. Again, if you guys uh, want more of a straight line, there are edging out there that, uh, that offer a better line. You know, as you can see there's a little bit of waving there that um, I'm a little bit unhappy with, but once there's grass around, you won't really see it as much. But So yeah, I'll uh, link you guys in the description section of all the things that I bought for this. Um, the Lava Rock I actually picked up at Home Depot. You'll probably have a hard time finding that online for a decent price because of the shipping weight. But um, again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you guys out. and. Um, Till next time, as always, keep it green.